So here we've got a panel skirt that actually this is a six gore skirt each of these panels is the same and they're a line slightly a line and they've got got a's in them so this one is a half circle got a you can see there and um, this one hasn't been pressed or anything so if you had a lighter fabric you know this would actually flop around as the person walked um, the other thing you could do too is like press along these edges and then actually you know like press it all flat um, so it would it would look like that but then when you walked it would open up this one here is a uh, quarter circle got a so even though they're both got a's and there's different methods of um, sewing them into the panel lines so we're just going to go through those now so here we've got our panels this these panels here are actually straight panels they're straight from the hip down they're not a line like on the sample i just showed you but the, the way that they're sewn in is exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about that. So I've got my notch here, and that notch is where the, where the godet will sew in, so it matches up with the center of the, um, of the godet. But before I sew the godet in, I have to sew this seam closed. So I've already overlocked along both the edges because this seam is going to be pressed open. So it's just a one centimeter seam allowance. Do you need a, um, an open seam for a goddamn mark? Um, it, uh, it does help. It just, it just looks a lot better because you, have to, because you have two seams intersecting with a single seam. It's just easier to have, it, um, to have them open to get, to get all the edges you know, out of the way. So I've just sewn that up. Now we open that up and then we put our right sides together. So the right side of the godet here, right side of the fabric here. And you can see where that stopped. And there's the notch there. So we're just lining that notch up. Actually what I might do might do it on this side so I'm just going to go the other way because that way I've got the stitching on top and I can actually see exactly where and you can see that folds back that fold lines up with the notch and just put that down and that way we can start yeah. right Otherwise at the I point put a pin in sometimes, but that's a good idea yeah okay. have it you know rather than having it up the other other way mm. I'm guessing and because we have to be really precise around this point as well if you're just like you can check to see how fast your machine is going and you might want to slow it down so that you can you know really do just those individual um, stitches back and forwards yeah exactly right okay so that's that one and now we can flip this over and there's the other the other half of the godet and we're just going to sew down this side now because you're um sewing this uh Lie, uh, this the, the grain of the fabric here might be slightly different to the grain on here depending how it's cut so this one um, is actually it looks a tiny bit longer but we can fix that up I'm, I'm just letting it sit there where it wants to and it's still like maybe three millimeters too long there so I'm going to leave it like that I'm not I'm not going to squash that and ease that in because you can see that it'll actually get a bit bubbly so just leave it flat um, and sometimes it's to do with the grain line, sometimes it's to do with the cutting. If it's, if it's out like half a centimetre or something, it's probably worth going back and putting the fabric on top of your pattern to see what, you know, if there's a, a bigger mistake that's been made. Or checking the pattern pieces too sometimes. Exactly, yeah. Yep. There. So there we are. So we've just got the little tails we're going to cut off. Mm. 
So there we have our insert. And so very precise the way that it comes out there. So now when this is pressed, this seam allowance will be pressed open all the way up. And then we'll also press these seams open as well. But um, yeah, the thing is, because how, you know, if, if you were to sew it first and then overlock it, you'd actually have to cut in here um, so that this would go down and then you'd overlock all the way up one layer down to onto the two layers, but you'd end up with a weak point there. Mm. So this way you're not clipping into that point. Um, you know, everything stays intact. There's no cutting in it at all. And then, yeah, you just have to press this, press them open. And even like if this is, if this is pressed open, like as it's hanging, and like if that's pressed open and that's pressed open, you know, and when it goes up here, it's obviously going to stand out at a bit of a right angle, but you know, that's fine. And then along the bottom here, we just trim. Yeah, we just slightly, you know, trim that off into the curve there. Okay, so that's a half circle got a got a quarter circle uh, got a insert um, sewn into the panel line. Um, so we'll just uh, show you how to sew that. So we start here with um, with our panel lines. This is the panel line, and we have to sew together down to the notch there. No overlocking. No overlocking on this one. I am going to overlock this after. Um, just because of the way that it comes together. Plus, a, a lot of the time it depends on the fabric that you're sewing and how you just, you know, what decision you make on how to do it. Exactly. You can actually do these sort of inserts with a, um, with a French seam as well, but um, yeah, it is a bit tricky. Yeah, and that would need to be a light fabric. Yeah, so that, I mean, doing something like this to get really bulky and lumpy and be pretty ugly. So what we're doing here, we need to like start one centimeter down because if we have a one centimeter seam allowance here and a one centimeter seam allowance here, we can't start right from the top because that would pull in one direction. So we actually have to start sewing at the one centimeter, one centimeter intersection here. So I've got the right, uh, right sides of the fabric together. And I'm just lining that up. So I've attached it to the one side there. Now I have to sew it onto the other side. So we'll just pull this around. Oh, I might it actually look easier putting in the um, half circle is than the quarter. Just the way that you could. Yeah. It doesn't have the, um, it's true. Although, yeah, just keep in mind that. Um, you know, like when it when it all falls down, the quarter circle one probably looks pretty much the same as the half circle one anyway, because the half circle one sort of just folds in on itself. Mm. But of course, it's up to up to you, design wise. So what we need to do now, because we're going to overlock down this side and we want to catch this in here and then we want to overlock down this side, if we pull this around and overlock there, then there's no way that we'll be able to pull that over to overlock here. So what we do is we just fold this down, fold it down so you get like a little, a little right angle there. And I'm just stitching that to hold that, to hold that back. What's the 
work happening in here today. <laughs> <laughs> busy, busy. So this way, because I folded that down, then I can sew up oh. either way um, without having to worry about what's happening here. And, and, and this will be, I mean, this edge will be overlocked. This point won't really be overlocked, but I mean, you could, oh, actually, I don't think I'd bother. I mean, if you tuck that under there, mm. you'd, you clip it back. you probably, yeah, actually, it's probably a good idea if you just clip this back. Actually, yeah, if you clip it back like that, then that goes onto the bias, which means that it's not going to fray anyway. Okay, and so then I'll just, um, I'll overlock down both sides and we'll have another, another last look at so it. So this is the a quarter circle after it's been overlocked. So you can see down here, overlock, and, and I have done this obviously after, so it's a bit, it is a bit trickier to do because you've got one layer here and three layers on the other side, but just go slowly and it should be fine. And then it goes down past this point and then onto the, the two layers, the skirt layer and the godet layer. And then the other sides it's turned up that way. And then you go down on that side there. And this is just the inside. I've given this a press. So this is the, the half circle godet. And that's pressed. Each of those seams is pressed open now. So you can see. So it looks like that on the inside. But, um, you know, that's completely fine. It's all really finished nicely. It's all overlocked. So good to go.